What's happening, film friends? Dave the Film Junkie here, bringing you a film review of The Disaster Artist. Disaster Artist, of course, is based on the, uh, the epic, just worst movie that you'll ever see, but it's so bad. It's just so very bad, it just immediately turns right around and it turns to good. There are people that would have nights, events, like movies, they would show at movie theaters. They would actually show it just as a ruse, just to, so people come together and just laugh their asses off. It's pretty crazy. But uh, I mean, I remember seeing it a long time ago and I couldn't believe what I saw. I mean, it's so cringy, but hey, whatever. Tommy Wizzo, I mean, he's he's got vision. So we got James Franco playing Tommy and we got uh, uh, Dave Franco, his brother playing Greg, and um, yeah, it's basically just telling the story of how this movie got made, and you get a little bit of uh, Tommy's background. Not that much, though. Really not that much. So you get to see his vision being made behind the scenes and everything like that. Of course, this took place during the early 2000s, and uh, what did I think of The Disaster Artist? This is one of the best movies of the year. Absolutely, guys. This movie, <laughs> I mean... When I first saw it, I was going, oh, this is great. And it just looked like it was just a big parody. But honestly, it is not really a parody movie. There's a lot of heart in this movie. And it really has to do with the two leads. James Franco could have just went over the top and made like a just an over the top parody type movie or whatever. But he actually wanted to incorporate some of the story, you know, and get the actual story in there. I don't know how much was, you know, added. Some was exaggerated. I'm sure there was. But the way that he just turns into Tommy it's it's pretty nuts it's he just looks like him everything's like him he's so obnoxious and you just oh my god I mean there's some of the things that he says it's just absolutely hysterical belly laughs belly laughs belly laughs belly laughs that's what I'm talking about I mean I just I'm telling you it's just absolutely hilarious and like I said Dave Franco does well too and everybody else you got Seth Ray. you got a lot of little cameos that are in this movie and it's pretty nuts but uh yeah, I mean, I have nothing really bad to say about this movie. Not at all. I mean, it was I I legitimately laughed the most I have in the movie theater this year, I think. Um, I think this is truly one of the best movies of the year, and I really think that everybody should go watch this. If you haven't watched The Room, watch The Room first. Trust me. I find myself answering the question like, oh, how was a disaster artist? Should I go watch it? I pretty much ask, have you seen The Room first? I'll ask that first, and if they say no, I just tell them, yeah you need to watch The Room first. Even though, you know, you see some of the, the scenes reenacted and everything like that, but it just helps to, to, to see The Room and to just take all that in first and then see this. I mean, and like I said, you're just, there's a lot of heart in this movie that I was not expecting. I mean, I was, I thoroughly enjoy, enjoyed myself, enjoyed myself, enjoyed myself from start to finish. And like I said, it really all has to do with the two leads, mainly James Franco. And I think he needs to be nominated for awards because he's not just spitting out a, a stupid impression. I mean, he looks, sounds, acts, everything like Tommy Wiseau. So am I going to put the disaster artist on the wall of favorite movies of 2017 that I don't plan on reconstruction? It's, that's, it's at the end of the year, guys, so I'm not going to put But I would put it up on the wall. And don't worry, I'll have a fresh new wall in 2018. I'm just like, ah, just the time to put it all together in the computer. I just got really lazy. Anyways, yes, it would definitely be on the wall of favorite movies of uh, 2017. And go see this. Please, support these kind of movies. This is a small movie. We need to show support for this stuff. When it's quality like this, I'm telling you, just go see it. And let me know if you did see it down below in the balls here and what you thought about it. Hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to the other channel too. Follow me on social media stuff floating above my head. And of course, I got shirts available, guys. Go get them. All right, I'll talk to you later.